I'm sure we can all agree that circular search is a fantastic feature to have, but it sucks that it doesn't work on every Android out there. Let's change that. With this app called Circular Search, yes, it has the same name, you can get that same revolutionary search feature on any Android. It works the same way too. Launching it depends on what navbar style you're using. If you're on the three button one, you can long press the home button and it should launch it. Or if you're using the gesture navigation, you can just long press on the lock key. From there, you can circle anything you'd like to search the web. And surprisingly, these search results are very accurate. It's also completely free to use with no ads or in-app purchases. Next, who else remembers the glory days of Pi controls from custom ROMs? It was a multitasking dream. Swiping from the side to bring in those half circles that let you easily do a bunch of stuff, from switching between apps or triggering shortcuts, it was smooth as butter. But somewhere along the way, this feature died off. But if you'd like to bring it back, you can download Pi control gestures. It lets you bring in two rings from the side with a ton of added functions, favorite apps, and more. It's highly customizable, and even though it's an older app, it still works totally fine. It does cost $2.49, but it's honestly worth it if you're looking to improve your multitasking. Plus, on some phones like Samsung, you can actually disable the back gesture on just one side to make it easier to launch the controls if you're on the gesture nav bar. On other Androids, apps like System UI Tuner can let you do the same thing. So there you go. And those are just two out of the 15 apps that I'll be showing off in this month's episode of the best Android apps for December 2024. Usually I'd stick to showcasing just 10, but since I'm always on the hunt to bring you guys more options than anyone else, I didn't let you guys down. So for this month, I once again pushed myself to bring you even more apps. So drop a thumbs up if you end up downloading at least one and let's get on to the next one. Have you ever tried to use your phone in the car or an airplane to read a book or watch a movie or read an article and after a few minutes, you just get motion sickness and need to put the phone down? Well, there's actually an app that helps with that. It's called Kingstop and it tries to lower any car sickness by adding visual elements to the screen that simulate the horizon and follow your hand movements. You can even customize their theme. Now you're probably thinking, how on earth does this help? Well, motion sickness happens when your brain gets mixed signals from your ears and eyes. And the simulation of a flat horizon on your phone synchronizes your ears with your eyes so that you don't feel as dizzy or nauseous. It may seem like a gimmick, but it works, at least for me. And it seems to be working for a lot of other people too, since this app has so many positive reviews. So don't knock it till you try it. If you're a fan of the Google Pixel's lock screen, you can actually replicate it on any Android. You just need to download this file called Modern Android Lock Screen Project and then import it into this app called KLCK Custom Lock Screen Maker. It's similar to the KWGT app, but for the lock screen. Once imported, you can grant it all the permissions it needs, enable the lock screen, and boom, you'll have the Google Pixel experience on your phone. It has the same giant clock, status bar, notifications, and even the squiggly music player. It's super customizable too. You can even match the clock to one UI's if that's your jam. Just one thing to keep in mind, you can't swipe away any notifications from the lock screen, but they do update once you swipe them away from your notification panel. If you'd like to listen to your music offline and want a new music player with a twist, check out Missing Core Music. Not only does it let you play all your favorite jams, but it's also designed to look just like nothing's design language. It's got that black, white, and red theme, dotted fonts, and minimalistic look. And it covers all the basics like playlists, albums, and folder structures, but it's really the UI that sets it apart. Free and open source, and it's a solid pick if you want something fresh. I'm sure most of us use Google's clock app to set up our alarms, but there's actually an even better clock app that looks exactly the same and adds extra unique features. For example, it lets you flip or shake the phone to dismiss or snooze the alarm. You can also link your power or volume keys to do the same thing. It can switch to a light theme, which surprisingly, Google's clock app can't do. You can swipe to delete an alarm, duplicate alarms, customize the widgets, and more. The only thing you can't do is link Spotify or YouTube Music, but you can still add your own audio files. Plus, it's free and open source, so that kind of makes up for it. 
Speaking of clock apps, how about one that actually forces you to get out of bed so that you don't oversleep? It's called QR Alarm, and when the alarm goes off, it will only turn off after you scan a specific QR code. So you have to print out a piece of paper with any random QR code, link it to an alarm you set, put the piece of paper in another room, and in the morning, you'll need to run to it to stop the sound. It's really helped me out because I'm constantly hitting the snooze button after I wake up. Man, it's getting cold out here in California, even for us where it's usually all sunshine and warmth. And if you're in need of heating a space that doesn't have a heating system or a spot in the house where it just gets too cold, then you need to check out Drio's wall-mounted space heater, the sponsor of this video. Drio is the top brand for fans and heaters in the US, and this bad boy is one of their latest models. I use mine in my garage because I actually turned it into the ultimate man cave. Pool table, TV, comfy couch, dartboard, everything you would need to have some good nights with your buddies. But in the winter, it's freezing and pretty much unusable. But ever since I started using Drio's heater on the wall, it's been nice and warm in there. Setting it up was also super easy. It only took four steps. Plus, when I turn it on, I instantly feel the heat, like in just two seconds. It hooked me right away when I first started to use it. And after a few minutes, the whole garage gets warm, cozy, and it's ready for a good time. I even hooked it up to the Drio app so that I could adjust the temperature right from my couch. Super convenient. And get this, I'm saving 40% on energy just by having it dialed into the perfect temperature. And hey, don't stress about safety, because this thing is packed with eight layers of protection, including overheating protection, fireproofing, insulated wiring, and even a child lock. So don't let the cold get to you this winter. Warm up any space in your house with Drio's wall-mounted space heater. Plus, they've got another model that's perfect for bathrooms with a safety plug and waterproofing. Check out the link in the description for more info and grab the extra discount with my coupon code down below. For the longest, I've avoided third-party launchers because of how broken they become when using the gesture navigation. But Google has been getting better at improving the experience. Just two weeks ago, the Android team finally fixed the app opening bug, and it's only a matter of time till they finally smoothen everything out. In the meantime, I've been looking for some fun new launchers, and one that really caught my eye was Ion Launcher. This gives you a home screen that shows you relevant information like the date, upcoming calendar events, your top notification, and your most used and recently used apps, and any of your favorite widgets. Then when you swipe up, you get a category style app drawer similar to iOS. Plus within its settings, you can customize many different aspects of the launcher. It may not be the most powerful or customizable launcher out there, but it works just fine and has potential. Volume Locker is one of those unique apps that you never thought you would need until you saw it. It basically allows you to lock your volume at a specific spot. And the reason I love this is because sometimes my alarm volume accidentally gets lowered down to the minimum and when I need to wake up in the morning, it's just too low to wake me up. So now I can use volume locker to lock the alarm sound to the maximum. And at night, I no longer need to worry if my alarm will be loud enough to wake me up. And of course, you can do this with any ringer mode as well. For the few warriors out there who still root their device and even take it further by flashing custom ROMs, you can use data backup to backup and restore any app on your phone with the user data. Think of it as the titanium backup of 2024. It's fast, flexible, and it lets you save backups either locally or to the cloud. The interface also looks super clean and is super easy to navigate. And of course, it's free and open source. Perfect for restoring apps that don't sync user data to the cloud like any offline games or any apps you download outside of the Play Store. Emulators. It's pretty intimidating to get with. After all, there are so many different options out there. But if you're new to the scene and just want to dive in, Lemiroid makes it a breeze. You just download any game ROMs off the web. I usually use emulatorgames.net. Then I just move the file to a folder I created in my directory called Lemiroid. And within the app, I can instantly load up the game and start playing it without a hassle. It supports a ton of systems like Nintendo, Game Boy, PlayStation, and more. It's got features like automatic saves, gamepad support, optimized touch controls, and no ads. 
Plus, it's completely free too, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to play any retro games without any tinkering, Lemmyroid is the ultimate plug and play. I'm sure most of us can agree that we spend way too much time mindlessly unlocking our phones. So I found yet another productivity app that may actually help this time. It's called Entity, and once you unlock the phone, it'll immediately ask you if your phone is going to be used for work or play. And you can answer accordingly to be made aware of why you're unlocking your phone instead of mindlessly using it without any goal and just wasting your time. So it doesn't add any blockers or limits, it just gives you some mindful choices of how you're going to use your phone. Plus you can even set it up to nudge you after a certain amount of time if you've forgotten your goal. And within the app, you can see your phone unlocking stats and you'll be able to customize other things. For some people, this may be all the need to lower phone usage time instead of locking everything down. Here's an interesting one. If you're the kind of person who types something out only to lose it and wish you could remember what you wrote, then you'll find Type Machine to be super handy. This app will save everything you type out on your phone so that you never lose something important you wrote out. Now, privacy could be a concern since it logs everything you type, including sensitive info like passwords or addresses, but you can lock the app with a pin, schedule automatic cleanups, and blacklist certain apps like password managers or banking apps. Plus, it's offline only, so none of your data is sent anywhere. Just keep in mind that it does cost $2.49 to download. If you're tired of using an infinite number of messaging apps, you can use Beeper to combine them all. That way, you can have a universal chat and not have to switch between different apps just to respond to different conversations on different platforms. It supports WhatsApp, SMS, RCS, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, and more. And surprisingly, it works really well with any response you make inside a chat being instantaneous. I even like how it lets me access any text messages from any other device and still allows me to respond to those text messages on a completely different phone, including with any attachments. Works like a charm. If you're one of the few who uses Android screensaver mode while charging or docking your device, you need to check out Widget Screensaver. This app lets you add custom widgets to your screensaver. You can include as many widgets as you want, adjust their sizes, and even interact with them. I personally use it to display cryptocurrency stats, calendar events, the time and date, weather updates, and my music player, all at once. It's functional, customizable, and works flawlessly. Anyway, tap this video right here to check out a playlist of past episodes of the best Android apps, or click on this video to explore more awesome Android content. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If I helped you download at least one app, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and get subscribed so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!